this is Turnips and Tornadoes. I'm Joanne, so glad that you joined us. We are going to talk about winter sowing today. This is actually our first gardening video. Um, winter sowing is a way to get your plant started early if you do not have a greenhouse. A lot of people cannot afford a greenhouse. A lot of HOAs don't uh, allow greenhouses. So this is a way to get a jump on it. It's also a way to be able to plant the types of seeds that you, the varieties that you want and not have to just depend on the nurseries and big box stores to have to do whatever they choose for you to plant. So our containers, the only container we've used so far are these, these are water containers. And we cut up, we cut the circumference of the, of the container, leave a little flap on it. Very important that you put holes under it. You need nice big holes under there. Um, I used uh, some scissors. I've heard of people using a hot glue gun with no glue in it to just kind of burn little holes in it, but you need some pretty substantial holes in it. I'm going to fill this about three inches with potting soil, and it's very important that you do use potting soil. You can't use garden soil. Later you'll be planting these into the garden and then they'll get their, their good garden soil, their good nutritious garden soil. You do not necessarily need to fertilize these when you plant them, but if your potting soil, like the one I have, has fertilizer in it, that's okay, you'll be fine. It's just not necessary at this point in the plant's life. Okay, a little more soil. And after I get this filled up to the depth I want, that looks pretty good, then I'm gonna thoroughly soak this potting soil. Probably going to have some runoff here. That's a good way to know you did it well. Yep, here comes water out of the sides. That's a good sign. Okay, and what I'm planting today, we've already planted our cool season crops and we've already planted some of our warm season crops. What I'm planting today is quite a experiment because these are what I'm planting today are plants that really don't like the cold so we're going to give it a shot one is basil I love Genovese basil and I can't find it around here anymore so I'm going to see if I can get some of this going in our winter sown garden and the first year I we planted these I planted so many seeds thinking the germination rate would not be very good, but the germination rate was fantastic. So now I'm doing less seeds. And these seeds are so tiny that I'm not even going to cover them. I'm going to let them just kind of lay on top of the soil. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and water this one more time to make sure that I get good, good seed contact with the dirt. And another important thing is to make sure that you mark what the seeds are. You, by the time they come up, you'll probably be able to tell what they are, what they are but possibly not. So I'm going to put basil, and I'll come back and put the variety of basil later on. Okay, and then I'm going to try this. I've seen people plant in all kinds of containers. I'm going to go ahead. This was a peppermint container. I'm going to go ahead and try to use it. I have the holes in the bottom, of course. And the thing with containers such as this, you won't have to, th this we're gonna have to take down. With, um, with this container, since it already has a top, we're not even gonna have to use the tape. And on the tape, the first time we uh, did the winter sewing, in fact, the first time we did it this year, we used packaging tape. That did it. And then the second time we used, um, Let's see, that is called a duct tape. And the, it was very easy to see the difference. The duct tape did very much, very much better because the condensation was much greater in it. The condensation is what does most of your watering needs. You do still have to watch them and have to water them every now and then possibly. But between the rainfall, and, and believe it or not, rainfall does go in that little, and we will not cover this top. We'll leave it open. It's kind of kind of surprising, but it works. Um, but the duct tape, it, it allowed condensation a whole lot better. I'm not sure why, but it did. And then this is some uh, Kajari melons. They're from India, very tiny little, very tiny little 
melons. I think they're probably about a pound or so each. Come on out, little Kajaris. And like I say, these this is really, they really like the, so these are a little bigger, so I'm actually going to stick them down in the dirt a little bit. I probably put more than I need in here. We have had fantastic success in the short time we've been doing the winter sowing. So I think we will probably always do this. Looks a little, little weird, but it works. Let's see, put those down. Well, I'll put some dirt over these is what I'll do. Okay, there we go. I'll cover those up a little bit, a little bit more. And then by the time, this is not a real deep container, but by the time they start growing up to the top, well, it should be, hopefully it'll be warm enough then, we can just go ahead and take the container off. Okay. And okay. where are you gonna plant these? Where? Well, the Kajari melon, we're probably going to plant, we, <clears throat> for the first year we did this, what would you call that, Dan? A hoop. A hoop. A <laughs> hoop. We're probably going to, because the idea, and they'll need a little bit of support as they get as they get larger, but they grow very well that way. Otherwise, they sprawl across the garden and take up so much space. We just don't have that much garden space. So... That's probably where we're, and we're also going to have a vertical wall that's not a hoop. That might be where we put the melons. Um, but anyway, so we're good to go. We'll come back and show you what we have already planted this year. Uh, we planted some in very early January is when we planted our cool season plants. And about a week ago, we planted some of our warm season plants. We'll come back and show you those. Well, Joanne showed you the winter sowing and how to do it. Let me show you the results of what we've done on winter sowing. These were done about seven weeks ago. We planted some spinach and some lettuce and other things, but uh, here's what it looks like now. What, what we did to secure it is, I take a green garden stake and I run it through the handles, then a couple of vertical ones, and tie that down because the wind can get pretty strong as we know. I also sink them down into the soil a little bit, and I think that also helps protect them from the wind. All right, let's see how we did. This is one that we planted, and this is red Russian kale. So there you can see, that's just seven weeks, and it won't be very long until we'll be able to transplant these into the garden. But what a jump start. These came from seed, and that way she could go to the seed catalog and plant exactly, exactly what she wants as opposed to going somewhere and saying, well, I really wanted that variety, but this is all they had. So this is less expensive. You get to pick exactly what you want, and you get to start in the garden while everybody else is hoping for warmer weather. You get to do that as well. Uh, let's find another one. This is some salad, red salad bowl lettuce. And these can seal back up. But as she said, the duct tape worked better than this packing tape. And then we've seen online where some people are not even using tape, they're just tucking the lids down in that. All right, so again, you have a great start at that. Winter sowing is really a fantastic way to get out in the garden just a little bit early and to plant exactly what you want. And then over here, we did some flowers. Now these were just planted about a week ago, same thing. We've got a vertical rod that goes through here, a horizontal rod and a vertical rod to tie them down, but she's got some parsley in here. Uh, we've got some petunia mixed, uh, rubicchia, uh, marigolds, uh, alyssum, and uh, coleus, is that how you say it? All right, that is it. So again, a chance for you to get some of your flowers planted, exactly what you want, and just to have a little fun. All right, we're gonna come back and close this, but again, we wanna say, Thank you so much. Your questions are really appreciated. In fact, we want to do an episode which is questions and answers. And so the more questions you get, we'll collect those in a future episode. Joanne and I will sit down and try to answer some of the questions you have about cooking inside and about the garden as well. And a lot more garden segments coming up as well, including getting the onions in the ground and radishes. And then of course, when we start to plant the tomatoes a bit later, uh, we'll have a lot more on that. I hope we piqued your interest into winter sowing. Some of the countries, it may be a little too late 
to do the cool season crops in winter sowing, but the, for the warm season crops, most everybody should still be able to do them. Maybe you make a note on your calendar for next year. Next time January rolls around, uh, you could get starting with some winter sowing for the spring stuff and also collect those jugs mm -hmm. because uh, I keep them up in the attic and then uh, rinse them out good and then we've got a bunch of them I'm going to collect because we're going to do more of this for next year. I will tell you this, we are overwhelmed with the response. Thank you so much, getting so many subscribers, so many positive uh, comments. And didn't she do great today starting the episode? <laughs> you really did good. I'm proud of thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we want to say thank you again for liking. That really helped the channel grow, subscribing. And then if you wish, the notification bell, and that way when we drop a new episode. What's coming up in some future episodes? Well, it, we are right at time to go ahead and plant our onions and I would say radishes also. So okay. maybe we can do that next. A little too early for tomatoes, right? Way too early here <laughs> for tomatoes. We can't wait to get them in the ground, but a little too early for that. And again, the episodes that you want, somebody suggested you... Uh, we do something uh, in the uh, kitchen with uh, uh, soy coi uh, curls. Soy curls, yeah. So somebody suggested that. So we're listening to what you say, and that'll be in uh, future episodes. So Wacky Kate, a lot of people made it. And I was really surprised the uh, number of people that made the jackfruit. Yeah, a lot of people uh, tried barbecue. it. And some mm -hmm. tried it, and they fed it to... Uh, they're meeting friends, and they liked it yeah. as well. So that's yeah. kind of cool. Very nice. You like that. Something to do. Meat prices have gone up, so mm -hmm. it's something uh, for alternatives. So, again, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate that. And uh, come here. <laughs> mm, you're doing good. Thanks for watching. Take care. All right.